In any economy, there's two factors that determine whether or not there's an economy and where it's at. One is uh, buyers, which is demand, and sellers, which is inventory. So in real estate, we measure uh, demand on the interest rate side is the most important factor. And you'll see the interest rates closed last week around 6.86, below 7%, in the range they've been for about a year. Certainly in the range to continue to keep buyers motivated. And I think um, non-volatile, not a lot of changing, which is good. It causes, uh, so there's no real disruption from that angle. So overall, the interest rate market has been good for buyers of the market and for overall market activity. On the seller side or inventory, homes for sale continued to decline nationally, now down to 588,000, slightly above last year's 549, not even 10% higher. The only years lower were pandemic years. All other pre-pandemic years were higher. So we were in the range of the lowest ever other than during the pandemic still. And while last year inventory was rising, this year it's declining. So you, you can't have a, a bubble burst without a, without a lot of houses for sale and more houses coming for sale. We don't have that. So overall, I would say the market, based on the actual factors, is pretty healthy. Now, locally in Los Angeles, I use Altos Research. They compile all these factors into one and create a number, and they rate the market at 39. Now, that's come down. It was 42 last year, 41, and then 40 a few months ago and now 39, coming towards an equilibrium of 30. So the market has softened. It's still a seller's market, but less so by a bit than it was a few months ago. Overall, though, I think that's healthy. You have more buyer activity, more buyer opportunity, uh, and so hopefully overall um, works out for everybody.